Hi guys, it's Chloe. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. We are back in the car, back in the Fiat 500, and we're going to be doing another drive with me. Um, I feel like I might do this as like a mukbang kind of thing because I mean it's like nearly one, and I haven't eaten. So I had a few requests to do like a playlist video, and I asked you guys if you wanted throwbacks or current, and it was like 50/50. So I've kind of made a playlist of both. So yeah, I did like a mixture of old throwback songs and like current songs from like this year and the last couple of years. So I will play that for you guys in a minute. I just need to get through this junction. I feel like that camera's not taped down for me because it's like making noise. If it's annoying, please bear with me. I'm sure I sort it out at some point in the video. I've literally just seen that there's standstill traffic and can I be asked with that today? No, I bloody well cannot. So we're gonna have to go to a different McDonald's, I think. <laughs> We love Chris Breezy! Yeah. Nearly curved it. This song is literally me when um you're asking if the McFlurry machine is working at McDonald's. She only let me cause I'm dangerous. Well I need at least like six double vodkas and cranberries after listening to that and it's a Tuesday afternoon. I'm completely fine and stable. Don't even worry about it. This camera is not doing bits today. I was literally, one of my friends that does YouTube as well, she was um, asking me what I use to hold my camera when I'm doing drive with me's. And I was literally, I was literally about 15 minutes ago DM'd her and was just like, oh, um, I use tape. I used to use a like little, it wasn't even a car mount, it was like a phone holder. And I was like, but no, I use tape now and it works like perfectly. I'm having so many problems today. Oh, banger, banger. Pixie Lot was my queen in year six. So Starbucks straws don't want to cooperate. Okay, amazing. Oh, that is so good. Um, so I just got, um, what did I get? An iced vanilla latte with almond milk. I either always get this or a white chocolate mocha with almond milk. And got my chicken nuggets. Although they didn't put the sauce in that I asked for. I'm absolutely done with this, like, like. Honestly, I feel like I'm swallowing razor blades, as it is, because my throat hurts, and now they want to make me a dry, a pure dry chicken nugget. Are you mad? So, I asked 
asked on Instagram the other day for like video ideas and like suggestions. My skin looks horrible in this lighting, but we're gonna deal with it. Um, I'm too ill to care. Like, I actually want to cry. I'm in so much pain right now, but we're gonna persevere because I haven't uploaded in a while, so. Um, yeah, so I asked you guys to send me in some questions. Uh, shout out to Chelsea who said, can you do a drive with me? Sorry, I've got screenshots on my phone. And shout out to Amy who also said, can you do a drive with me? And shout out to Laura who also said, can you do a drive with me? So I had a question which was, do I like any controversial YouTubers? Some of you guys are going to hate me for this. But I find myself really, really liking Kami, as in Touch Delight. Help it. Don't get me wrong, he's done things, like, he has done things that are so out of order, and I do not agree with them. Just because you enjoy someone's videos doesn't mean you have to agree with absolutely everything they say or do. And I 100% do not agree with half the things that he has said or done, but I just find him so entertaining, and his person, like, his humour... It's just a humour that not everyone else gets. And like I said, I don't find everything that he says funny because some things is just, like, plain rude and offensive. Um, but, yeah, I do kind of find myself liking him a little um, bit. Liking him as in, like, enjoying his content sometimes. Um, yeah, so, call me. I had a question. It was, like, what age do you think is a good age to get a boyfriend or a girlfriend? There's no, like, correct or good age to get into a relationship. I just feel like when you like someone and they like you back, it just makes sense. Um, one thing I will say is I feel like lots of people that are in like secondary school, high school, whatever you want to call it, get really, really obsessed with the idea of having a boyfriend or a girlfriend because some of their friends are doing it or it's like what they're watching on TV and stuff. And it's really not the end of the world. Like I've also had messages from people like in the past when I've done like mukbangs, I've asked for like deep questions and stuff. And people have been like really genuinely upset that they're like 15 and haven't had like a boyfriend or something. And just, it honestly does not matter. I think one thing you need to know before you get into a relationship is you kind of need to love yourself, not in like a cocky, arrogant way, but you just need to know what you like. You need to have the ability to say no or yes to things that you do and don't like. You kind of need to stand up for yourself and be like self-assured. Is that what I was going to say? Look at me getting all deep with my little chicken nug nug. Um, but yeah, because otherwise I feel like it's really easy for you to be manipulated by someone else and for them to like dictate. I, I don't know what I'm trying to say. You know what I'm trying to say? I don't know. Chicken nugget, do you know what I'm trying to say? So I've actually had loads of questions to talk about my driving test experience. I've never really done it just because I see loads of people talk about it in their drive with me. So I didn't know if it was kind of a bit like, is it oversaturated? Is that the word? But so many of you have asked, so I just thought I'd go ahead and do it. I passed my driving test on, I think it was the 20th of March... 2016. My birthday is the 24th of April and I started my driving lesson the day of my 17th birthday. So I didn't actually have a driving lesson. I was insured on my mum's car and my dad took me out and we went driving for like two hours. So I kind of had like a little idea of what to do. And then I think it was like five days later or something. I had my first driving lesson. Um, I had a female um, instructor. There was no reason for that. She just was like quite highly recommend recommended that's not what it is it highly recommended yeah, so she picked me up outside of college when i had like a free lesson um and i did a two-hour lesson to start with and obviously you don't really do too much driving in your first lesson but i definitely recommend getting a two-hour lesson instead of a f um a one-hour lesson especially for your first lesson how many more times so i want to say lesson let's make a bloody tally chart um just because you kind of do like a lot of like sitting and listening to the instructor talk and then you kind of do like a little bit of learning how to like move off safely and gears and stuff like that i did a two hour lesson every single week and i used to go out uh, english i used to go out at the weekend with my dad my mum's car pretty much every weekend and i do about two hours my mum had and the car that my instructor had were basically the same my instructor's one was just like a newer model so that actually made it really really easy i didn't do my theory test until about like maybe two or three months into learning how to drive just because um my instructor told me it's better to kind of do your theory test once you've had a few lessons because it can kind of help you because you kind of know what everything's about like the road signs and stuff like because you have to abide by those rules when you're driving so you kind of know a little bit more about the theory test about maybe eight months maybe seven eight months my instructor was just like yeah okay i think you could like put in for your test and then 
okay where i lived in my town i think it's sorted itself out now but there was like this lot anyone that's my age that was learning to drive at the same time that would possibly be watching this from the same town as me or know the pain there was a shortage of driving test examiners so the waiting list when you'd usually wait maybe two three weeks at most for a driving test the the waiting list was six months six months to do a driving test are you in what world in what world so basically i had to put in for my test i think it was around seven months into having lessons but I wasn't actually able to do my test for another six months. And I think I managed to get a few cancellations, so I think I managed to wait maybe four and a half months. But oh my God, that's a long time. I feel like I am grateful that I had those extra months because I feel like it made me so much more better, so much more better. My English is actually terrible today. The option of bringing your driving instructor with you and they can sit in the back during your test. I don't know if it's the same in other countries. And I said no, just because I thought it would put me off. It actually wasn't bad. Like it was genuinely a good drive. Um, I had this like old man instructor and he's like been there for years and anyway yeah I did like all the questions and stuff at the beginning did all my did my driving test I made a few like minor mistakes but I didn't feel like I'd done anything wrong and we then pull up and he's like oh, I'm sorry to tell you, you failed and I'm like I didn't expect to pass but I didn't expect to fail at the same time if that makes sense so I wasn't really like upset i just thought oh my god i'm gonna have to wait months until i can redo this oh and i forgot to mention i got my car in january 2016 so that was a few months before i passed my test um and that's a fiat 500 it's a second hand one two months maybe not exactly two months but just under i managed to get a driving test cancellation and booked myself in again i didn't have my um instructor in the back with me and we had you have to do like an eyesight test before you go ahead for your lesson because if you can't read a number plate from is it 20 meters i don't know from a certain distance you can't do your driving test. tell me why on this day i think i was so nervous it took me the full three attempts to get the number plate i think i may have actually nearly messed up on the third attempt too and i actually had the same examiner as my first test so i don't know if that's like good or bad because you kind of know what to expect with them but then at the same time you're like oh my god not so, yeah again. i was like i'm so sorry okay my phone just dropped i was like i'm so sorry i know what it is i'm just so nervous and stuff and he was just like right okay so i did that we went on our drive came back and he told me that i passed so i passed second time um i actually feel like the drive i did the first time was better than the drive that i did on my second test but obviously in my first test i've got to tell you i got three made sorry three minors for the same thing so it was in a 30 zone and i was speeding just a little bit i was doing like 32 and because i did that three times it then um turned into a major which is really annoying you have a certain amount of minors but if you get three of the same minor it turns into a major so that's what happened to me and i can't remember how many minors i got on my second test i think it was maybe like five i don't know guys i absolutely cannot just believe what i am witnessing right now i'm literally down here there is some guy okay like he's just pulled up in a huge bloody van and he's just going for a wee in front of me and i mean i don't want to look like i'm filming him because i'm not obviously so that's why i'm down here but that's bloody gross like don't whip your dick out in public someone just overtook me and i genuinely could have cried okay so i was right i went into luke's house and i ended up lying on his bed and crying <laughs> because of how shitty I feel. So, mm, good times. I'm really ill. And I'm sorry if this drive with me wasn't as fun as the other ones, but I needed to film. I'm doing this for you guys. I sound like a man. And it's like, I swear it's like 27 degrees and I still feel like absolute crap. So I got my little Love Island water bottle and my teddy bear coat. And I'm about to go and die and work for a few hours. So yeah, uh, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this, please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you're new here and would like to see a little bit more of me when I'm a little bit more lively. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one.